I'm Josh Beware. And I'm Shane Sergis. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm Ava Bala with the FLNN, and welcome to our 2020 Christmas broadcast. The Christmas season is clearly here, but some people start celebrating the holidays extra early, especially in the craziness of 2020. After all, I put up my Christmas tree on Halloween. Cameron Caruso went around campus to find out if there is ever a time when Christmas celebration is just too early. Happy Holidays! Christmas is right around the corner. Everyone has different traditions for the holiday season, and some are more traditional than most. We are going to find out what an acceptable time to start decorating is. When do you normally put up your Christmas decorations? Normally, I put them up December 1st, but at this point, I think it's good to do it early because the world's kind of a mess. I usually put them up whenever I want to because I think it's opinion-based, you know? You can put up your, your uh, ornaments, your decorations whenever you want. It doesn't have to be based on what society says. So we are total traditionalists and the whole day after Thanksgiving is take down the pumpkins, put up the lights, put up the tree, make Christmas food, all those kinds of things. And when did you put up your Christmas decorations this year? So my plan was yesterday, which was the 29th of November, but I didn't get to it. So maybe today, which is the 30th of November. Uh, we just started last week, the day before Thanksgiving. It seems as though everyone has different opinions on when it is acceptable to decorate. But Christmas music is a different story. Some find it acceptable to listen to Christmas music in November, and some find it totally unacceptable. Let's find out. And when do you find it socially acceptable to play Christmas music? Oh my gosh, I don't know, I love music so much, I can listen to it any time of the year. Not 24-7, but I'm always up for a good Christmas song. Um, personally, I think it's acceptable when it's December, but I've been hearing a lot of it recently, and I think that's okay for now. I think whenever the vibe is right, you know, like, if you're feeling sad, you can play Christmas music, or you can just play it during the holiday, whatever you want. Not on Thanksgiving. Don't you dare <laughs> start singing Christmas songs until after Thanksgiving. There you have it. Every family celebrates in jolly different ways. I'm Cameron Caruso with the FLNN, signing off. Thank you, Cameron. Christmas movies are one of the many joys of the holiday season, and Caroline Skinner dug deeper into where you can watch these classic Christmas films this holiday season. Hi, this is Caroline Skinner from the FLNN. Behind me is the Suncoast Casino. Did you know they are showing a number of Christmas movies all throughout this holiday season? Today we'll be testing Faith Lutheran's students' and faculty's ability to guess that Christmas movie. What Christmas movie is this? Home Alone. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Polar Express. Good job. Also Home Alone, like the one that nobody watches. No, no, I changed my mind. Santa Claus. Yep, good job. Christmas movies are an important part of the holiday season. There are a number of Christmas movies available on streaming websites. You can find your favorite Christmas movies like Home Alone, The Grinch, Nightmare Before Christmas on Disney Plus and Netflix. There are also a number of new Christmas movies on these websites this year. What's your favorite Christmas movie and why? Um, my favorite Christmas movie is The Grinch because I like the plot. Die Hard. And why? Well, because it doubles as a Christmas movie and also, you know, like action. It's kind of perfect. It's, it has something for everyone, you know? Oh my gosh, well, I love all three of the Santa Clauses because it's just like timeless and fun to watch. We watch it every year as a family. And I also like The Home Alone, but I also like Christmas Story. I don't have one. I can't commit. Don't forget that you can reserve your tickets to go watch your favorite Christmas movies on the Suncoast website. This was Caroline signing off. Thank you, Caroline. I know everyone is probably tired of hearing about COVID-19, but because it is our unfortunate new reality, Christmas celebrations will be a lot different this year. With most people's primary goal to keep themselves and their families safe and healthy, Grace Jacobson went around campus to hear about everyone's new Christmas plans. Hi, I'm Grace from the FLNN, and Christmas is right around the corner. But due to the coronavirus, some things might have to be changed. We talked to some students about their plans for the holidays. What are your usual Christmas traditions? Um, I usually spend it with my family, and my sister comes down from college. Um, my usual Christmas traditions would be uh, just hanging out with my family at my house. Uh, my grandma would come over, and uh, we'd make a nice, nice meal with the family. That's about it. Has COVID changed or limited your plans for this Christmas? 
Uh, I'm just not going to see my grandma this year, uh, just because uh, she's you know at risk. She's she's older and has some respiratory issues, um, so so I won't be hanging out with her. But other than that, I'll be doing everything I normally do. Limited do celebrations need to be due to the spread of COVID-19? Holiday celebrations should just be with whoever resides in the household. However, if you would like more people, they should be people that you see frequently and no more than six people gathering in the home at one time. And what are your feelings after hearing our governor might limit our celebrations due to the virus? It's really sad that we can't have Christmas like usual, but I'm but it's important to follow the CDC guidelines so we can all stay safe and that the numbers of COVID cases don't continue to rise. Merry Christmas Crusaders, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Grace. With finals optional this year, Christmas break is coming early for many students. So have a fantastic break, everyone, and enjoy your extra week off. Before that, this week's teacher shout out goes to Mrs. Blank. Thank you for all the work you do for our academies and for all your students. Many churches are having Christmas services virtually and in person this season, so check out your announcements for a list of churches. Also, don't forget to fill out your advent calendar questions from Applied for a chance to win a prize. We look forward to seeing all of you back on campus January 4th. Also, look out for our weekly video announcements coming soon in second semester. Have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay safe, Faith Lutheran, and God bless.